And the boys back at it again with another review. It's coming out! Been a while! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I am Corbin, and this is Rick. What's up? You know what channel. Go and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. <gasps> Love it when you do that. Please follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's yes. so juicy. <sighs> nice to see you. Uh, today, it's been a while. We have a review. Da, da, da. We usually try to give you a couple of reviews a week. We Sadly, do. last week we only got you one, and it was uh, bad luck. Yep. Uh, and and the reason for that was our week was we we've been doing a lot of preparation for some special stuff coming your way this week. Yeah. So uh, didn't have time to uh, fully watch a film, but especially this guy who does all the work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so we watched. Jishyam. Jishyam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this, it came out a while ago, so this is going to be a spoiler review, so. Yeah, please, if, if you haven't seen this, which I think virtually all of you yeah, have I seen just, this, and the original that was prior that this is a I remake of. I assume most of you have seen it. I would assume. the reaction to the trailer that we did, which I will link right here, bang, um, got incredibly positive review reviews yes uh which is why we decided to uh watch it oh i gotta my phone's gotta go on airplane mode i have notes from watching it but it's i won't be able to read them because the stupid babies are constantly messaging us oh you're so popular i feel so popular pop you there what musical is that from everybody that's all you get no they don't we'll see what happens just from that anyways pop you there Back okay. on track here. Airplane mode. Good. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we watched this movie. It came out in 2015, starring... AJ Devon. AJ Devon. Um, and... Uh, I hope I got that right. I think we've seen Taboo before. Yes. Head of the... F yeah. She was in... Um, the head of the thing. She was in... Say it. Which one? I don't... There's a couple. No, the one you always say that they love hearing Under you say. Hun? Yes. Who was she now? She was the main, the woman, the wife of the the, the husband who's having oh, yes. an affair. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's her. That's why she was so familiar. Yes. Desperate measures are taken by a man, and really his family, who tries to save his family from the dark side of the law after they commit an unexpected crime. That's a good way yeah. to say it. And that's so, true. And so from the, from the trailer, basically... We didn't know what to think, obviously. Uh, no, but I remember us liking it. Yo, no, and we thinking, loved the what trailer. What is this about? Um, and then we didn't... Didn't realize all the layers that kind of went into it. Yeah. And um, when it started out, I was annoyed Me a too. little bit. Yeah. I'm um, on some notes. What annoyed you? Well, a, a couple things. The first thing I noticed was the score was really annoying. Yeah, let me see because, if I put it right Because, like, it would that. be this drama, right? Yeah, I put here score placement. Yeah. Choices are awful. Yeah. Um... It, there was a couple different times that you really noticed the score and you, and shouldn't. you shouldn't. Um, like when the, the assistant to the main guy, whenever he talked or did something silly, it, it got like three idiots music. Right. Going I, I agree. It. And I was like, what? There and, was nowhere else in the film. Right. And they decided to put that there. And I'm like, this would have still been funny, actually even more funny if you would have just left that out. Agreed. <laughs> you don't need that music. And then also the, the main girl who was the mother and the head... IG, I think they called her. Um, the yeah, one from from Under Hunter. Um, they gave her like a theme, like KGF yeah. music. Yeah, behind her <laughs> each time, and I'm like, Ugh. we don't need to hear her theme every time <laughs> she appears on screen. <laughs> and she was great in the film. Oh, yeah, she's I, she, always good. She was one of the strongest uh, parts, along with the main guy. I mean, he, he was yeah, great as well. Her, but, him, and his wife. His wife are the three. Yeah. They held the thing together for um, They were all really great. Um, I did, though, end up enjoying this film. I did. You probably enjoyed it more than I did. I, I when it ended, mm -hmm. my thought was, I kind of wish I'd seen the original first, which a lot of people were saying, see the original from which this was made. Yeah. And I, I'm tempted to really do that because I didn't like it as much as, I didn't dislike it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like it as much as I was, I thought I would. Mm -hmm. And partly because of, there were, there were, <laughs> There was nothing like the piano playing. <laughs> I hope not. I will cut it all. 
Uh, but here's some of my notes that I wrote. The first 25 minutes of the film, the pacing seemed choppy to me and I didn't know where it was going. Yeah. And it seemed... Uh, the beginning was definitely the weakest part. Yes. It seemed thematically inconsistent with the score, the way it was the way it was edited together. And really the only thing for me in the first 25 minutes I wrote down was the best part of the first half hour was I, I connected to his wife. Her performance... Yeah, she did a great job. I felt connected to her. I didn't really... As good as he was... Because he was believable every moment he was on screen. Oh, yeah, he, I, I completely believed every moment he, he was on he, screen. He's a phenomenal actor. Phenomenal I like actor. Him. I like him a lot. But, but I, I wasn't really caring about anybody. Um, and I had a lot of questions. Uh, bless her heart, the girl playing the daughter, there were some moments of her crying that were just forced. Yeah. Uh, just, and that's that's not fair because... He's a child. You really. can't expect child actors to just knock it out of the park. It's very rare that you get a child actor that can do stuff that we've seen some child actors do. Yeah. I don't hold that. It's, it's just the way it is. And to, to put someone of that age into that heavy of an emotional role mm -hmm. is tough, but I didn't Obviously, kinda... it's, a, it's a tough role. Uh, the, the, when it started to uh, kind of really draw me in was obviously when the kid came over. Uh, or like, because that whole situation was very strange to yeah, me, as me an too. American. Yeah, that, that, um, like a cultural thing of why was that so threatening? Yeah, like he should be the one worried if he sells that. Right, because what was he doing peeping? What was he doing creeping on this girl? Yeah. And why would that ruin somebody's life? It should actually be ruining his life. Right. <laughs> and for threatening her with that, one, that she's just taking a shower. Right. I didn't, so I didn't quite understand. I was like, this must be a different cultural thing. Like if people see her, it's huge. Huge. The modesty thing very, is huge. Very strange to me, though. Um, and obviously, it shouldn't be that way. Uh, I don't know if it is. I don't know. That's my suspicion as well, is that, that that is what it is. That for us, the thought of having somebody... I mean, you've probably seen, and I'm sure you get it in India, where there's there's <laughs> way worse stuff than that that circulates on the internet and people don't get in trouble for it. Mm -hmm. But... I believe, especially in certain regions, because that's one of the things about India is that things are very different. Like the drinking ages are changing wherever you go. Yeah. And I think that anything that in any way could present a young lady in anything but pure modesty and propriety could be devastating to their family's reputation. Yeah. So, so that's what that's what yeah. I was thinking. It's just obviously it was it was strange, but that's when it kind of drew me in. Yeah, I'm it like, didn't seem like a big deal. What's going What's going on here? Because obviously, at when then he turned on the wife, and was right. like, hey, "Give me what?" And then they just cut, mm -hmm. and then you just saw them shaking in the bed, which was a great scene. Yeah. Um, but I was like, did Did he just rape them? Right. Like, I, right. <laughs> right. Like, like all of them. It seemed like that was the perspective. Yeah. For something that and didn't. So it kind of drew me in. That. Um, and most films, if there's like some bad, and there was some problems with this, like the score, and then there was some acting, not from the main people. But, and there was some lighting problems. Um, sorry, sorry, production team, but there and, was some lighting problems. And there was a lot of problems with any action, most of the time. Not all the action. There was some action that was good, but most of the, like, like obviously the, the fight scenes between the kid and the... Oh, yeah. And anybody like that, it was all pretty terrible. Yeah. It was like, ah, yeah. The whole, the whole interrogation sequence mm -hmm. um, oh. never really made me uncomfortable as I think it was wanting to make me uncomfortable. I, I noticed also that they didn't show a lot of the beating of the two girls right as much as they did him of course like they did the whole thing on him yeah and it was him slap 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 and then it kind of was almost a waste and you just heard it most of the right. time you, right you saw it a couple times but i was like i don't i, I don't think know, that's a cultural that, yeah. i think that's a cultural thing people are uncomfortable if you i think yeah i think if you cross that line cinematically they would get a lot of uproar of mm -hmm. do not show child abuse like that in the same way for example in american film people drink and there's nothing but in an indian film if someone drinks alcohol the warning goes up of this is injurious to your health. Yeah. I think there's just some cultural things that are like, for example, the other thing, and I, I'm a big fan of this one. If you'll notice, nudity and overt sexuality mm -hmm. is much less, it's not void. I mean, we've already seen some stuff in other things where it's like Game of Thrones. Yeah. But many of the films have a level of propriety where they leave the rest of the imagination and they don't want to go there. Yeah. And I'm, I'm total, I'm cool with that. Yeah. But I agree. It, it lost, if they had filmed the interrogation and maybe the original does this, if the interrogation sequence had been a bit more shocking, mm -hmm. I would have been a bit more engaged. That was the other thing. 
I didn't, did you care about anybody? Like, did you get personally connected that you the, cared about the story? The main the guy. The main guy. I, but I, even, I even then, I thought it was kind of weird. It was like, there, was, there were some things that just didn't make sense to me. One of, the, no, one of the things I did love most about this film was how engaged I was even with some of the problems that went on. Because I was like, I want to know how he's going to get away with this. I, I got to agree. I stayed engaged yeah. with wanting to know. I, I want to know how, how, gonna how you're going to get away with this. Right. And then, obviously, also, I love the conundrum of these people, well, not these, everyone, but they accidentally murdered this person. This right, kid. right. Not on purpose. Right. right. And now they're covering it up. Right. Um, and obviously they're trying to protect their family, so you feel for them. But these other people are trying to figure out who, where their son is. Right. Who possibly killed their son. Right. And so you don't know who to kind of... You're, root root, for. you're rooting for the, the, the main people because that's who you, you've connected with, but you're like... I can't really blame these people. Exactly, and I can't really root for you yeah. guys because you freaking murdered this yeah. kid. Yeah, and you're covering it up. Right. Um, but <laughs> so I like that aspect. I love films that I, I I don't see a right or wrong. And they said that in this film, like, well, there's no right or wrong in any of this. Right, but here's something that challenged me in that regard, and I don't know if the original covers it that way. Toward the end, mm -hmm. In fact, the very, very end, when they are with him. Yeah. And their lives have been ruined because everyone thinks they falsely accused. Because when they go in, obviously, there's no body. Yeah. Which, I liked that. Yeah, that, so did That I. surprised me. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I, I was thinking, I was like, hey, is it the body? Or is it, is yeah, it, but the, the fact you, that they were smelling something, okay, maybe it is the body. Yeah, so I, I was wondering what that was. Me too. But when they're there, I had this thought while I was watching it. Because I'm a parent. So, either way, a dad protecting his family and two parents trying to find a son. I could yeah. relate to either one. Yeah. When he admits that they did it, I don't know. <laughs> if you admitted to me, after all of this time and you've ruined my life, that you actually did murder my son and you're standing on a cliff. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I, I was kind of hoping she was going to push him off. I can't imagine why they, why they just were, they seem to be just so resigned to, thanks for that information and now we're going to go have lunch. I, yeah, I can't remember, I, no, I can't figure out whether I liked the ending or not. Yeah. And I think that's good. I think that I like, yeah. like I like not knowing. Right. Um, whether I agree with that, because originally I was like, oh, this is great and it was a great ending and then... They kept going, and he goes, oh, crap, is he going to tell them? And I was kind of mad. Right, because they were going to wrap it up in a book. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah, this is what happened. I did it. I did it. And then the way they did it, he didn't actually admit. He was like, somebody was intrud intruding on our family, and, or so there was a problem. We got rid of that problem. Blah, blah, blah. Right. I didn't end up hating it. I was like, I kind of like this. What I kind of wanted. I kind of don't like this. I kind of wish she would have pushed him off. Because like, like I said, I love that I could have, I related to almost both of them because I was like, neither of them are wrong. Right, <laughs> right. You, you could relate to both of them. The, what kid, I, the kid deserved to die for what he did, honestly. <laughs> what, I, what I wanted to have happen, mm -hmm. right when they said, when he said yes, and it was obvious he, he was saying that, and they had this resigned look of, okay, that sucks, but at least we know. When they turned, what I wanted to have happen, I wanted her to turn around with her gun and go, <laughs> and him go flying backwards and fall off the cliff. And now they have to bury his body somewhere to pull off the fact that they murdered the dad who murdered their son. That's I, what I wanted. I think that's why they didn't do it though, because they were like, uh, I know. We don't want our. <laughs> now, our did life. you see? I think one of the reasons they didn't do anything is because they understood why he did it. True. Because they were like, Oh, yeah, our son. I get it. If, I mean, if somebody did that to our son, right. we would have done it. Which is, which is again, that's why I, it was just for me, my own personal thing. Yeah. Did you know that the body was buried under the police station? I got there towards, towards the, the end. Towards the end. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's where it is. Yeah. Right. Because I was like, okay, they're building the police. Except, <laughs> I, I did, and he's like, the police and this police station will protect us. That's when I knew that's where he buried it. I was it. like, Okay. Yep. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I enjoyed it. And like I yeah. said, I, even though most of the times with films, if they have these kind of issues, I don't end up enjoying it. Me so too. So that's why I was kind of surprised that I did enjoy it as much as I did. Me too. Um, and so that, that goes to the story of it. The uh, story and the solid acting of, of the, main the, the, the three main people. 
lifted it above any of the problems that would ordinarily make me not like the film. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, and I want to watch the original now. I yeah. wanna, I'd love to compare the I two. I think they said, though, that one, the reason we didn't react to the trailers because there was either no trailer. To the original? To the original. Right. Or there was definitely no, no subs. subs. Right. Or there was no quality. I can't remember what it was. But yeah. somebody said something like that, and that's why we couldn't react to the South Indian one. Um, and I want to see him in some more stuff. Yeah, he's great. He's great. Uh, I, I can't exactly... Uh, what else has he been in? Let's take a look. They're all streaming. Oh, Chevet. Right he was in Chevet. Yeah. Which we ended up liking that trailer. Yeah. Uh, I There's been very few trailers we've disliked, honestly. Um, <laughs> a Wednesday. A Wednesday. But, uh, I think and we I, know that's not the film. We know we, we, we know we need to see. Everybody has was like, trailer sucks. See that film. Oh, yeah. He was it's in, legendary. He was in Symbia. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we saw that. Uh, yeah, I knew we've seen his face everywhere. Uh... It's so fun now, guys, to see trailers and films with these actors we're getting to not just know, but actually really like. It's really fun to yeah. watch the trailer. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. oh, look who it yeah. is. But I did, I, like I said, I did enjoy the film. Uh, yeah, very, I, very much. Because I, I was almost like tense a lot of times. I was like, mm, how are you going to get away with this murder? Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exciting. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I'd probably give it a solid B plus. Yeah, I would put it. At, I'd probably level that at a B for me. Yeah. Um, I, it wouldn't be anywhere near the movies that I'm now cherishing. Yeah. Uh, in in the spectrum of films that we've seen, because there's quite a few movies it, now it that could have I, been, I, it, I love. It could, if those issues were addressed and it had the quality of Yuri in it, oh. that like in terms of like action and um, or Pink. Uh, yeah. That, that level of really with, well put together. We put together everything, like the score was good. Right, and all lighting, this kind of stuff. everything. It could have been pacing way, way up there. Yeah. Um, those issues kind of lower it for me. Mm -hmm. um, me too. But the story itself and the, the climax at the end is great, what, great story. Is what really makes the film. Yeah, great and story. what makes you really enjoy it. So thank you for that recommendation. Very Let much. us know what we should react to next. Yeah. And review. Uh, in, uh, in the... Uh, 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 I'm just going to end it now. Now.